there are times when you'll need to modify or adjust a previously entered vendor invoice in SageMass 90 and Mass 200. The Accounts Payable Invoice Data Entry function makes this an easy task, and in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process. So let's jump right in and get started. For our example, let's suppose that we mistakenly entered $79 for a vendor's invoice rather than the correct value of $179. So our task will be to make a $100 adjustment to the invoice. To do this, we'll go over to the Task Menu tree and select Modules, Accounts Payable, Main, Invoice Data Entry. Using the Vendor Number Lookup, we'll select Compact Computer Corporation. The lookup for the invoice number field only lists unposted invoices entered during this data entry session. Since we're adjusting an existing, already posted invoice, we'll manually enter the invoice number here. And when we tab away from the field, we receive a notification that the invoice is already on file and we're presented with some options. For our example, we'll be increasing the amount originally entered for the invoice and therefore we'll click the Adjust button. Here on the header tab, we can see the original invoice date, terms code, comments, and invoice balance. Recall that for our example, the invoice should have been entered for $179 instead of $79. So we'll use the adjustment amount field to correct the invoice, and here we'll enter $100. Note that if the original amount needed to be decreased, we would enter a negative amount here. Now we'll open the lines tab, and notice that the GL account field defaults from the vendor maintenance GL account and is equal to the adjustment amount. These fields can be changed as necessary, but we'll accept the default. Now we need to update the accounts payable invoice data entry, and we'll do this by clicking the printer button. And this action opens the accounts payable invoice register. We'll enter a posting date of 5-31-2010 and click the Preview button, which processes the work files and launches the register. Notice that an Adjust notation is now displayed. Closing this screen proceeds to the Posting Recap Report, which displays the GL Posting Entry. We'll close the Report screen, and a message prompts us to update the invoice register. We'll click Yes, and Yes again on the next prompt to print the Daily Transaction Register. We'll select Preview, and the register opens. Let's now close the report, and we'll click Yes to update the Daily Transaction Register. Now we'll go back to the menu tree and take a look at the vendor inquiry to see the effect of our adjustment. Let's reposition the window, and using the lookup, we'll select our vendor, Compact Computer Corporation. And opening the Invoices tab, you can see that the invoice now shows $179. Notice that when we select the invoice, the lower grid displays the original amount entered and the adjustment made to the invoice. So to recap, if you discover that you've misentered an amount on a previously entered AP invoice, it's a fairly simple process to make an adjustment. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your SageMass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.